everyone, skills you shooter here. Welcome. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, as you can see in the background here, this is the reason why I haven't been doing all that many videos lately, aside from being jobless, but I've replaced being jobless with doing this bloody kitchen renovation, but that's not what you're here for. I picked up the Mortal Kombat uh, Collector's Edition yesterday, and uh, owing to the fact that I've got zero space to kind of do anything in here, and the man cave is a storage facility at the moment, I thought I'd go down to uh, the garage and we can do something there. So follow me and we'll uh, go to the garage. Hope you're all well. I know it's been a long time since I've done a, uh, an unboxing of any variety, really. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you the garage as well and the IKEA factory that that is my uh, existence right now. So uh, that's pretty much everything, as you can see. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. It's uh, a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, when I'm ordering all these things, I uh, I rarely take a look at the actual dimensions, which I probably should start doing, given uh, I'm going to need to put this on some sort of cabinet or, uh, or side, uh, side table or something. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll just give it a bit of a spin. Uh, that's the back there, just giving you a bit of detail onto, uh, on what it actually includes. Hand-painted Scorpion statue, uh, 28 centimeters. Uh, exclusive steel pack and steel card, uh, which I'll show you as well. Mortal Kombat X Blood Ties comic book volume one. Uh, gold Scorpion skin and Goro playable character. So, uh, uh, let's crack into it, shall we? Let's just spin this around. Apologies, because I'm doing this one-handed, because obviously the uh, tripod and all that gear is uh, inside the house and uh, and boxed up. So I'm going to try and do the impossible and try and get this sleeve out. Fans of my uh, Titanfall unboxing uh, might remember that I had the problem getting this off the first time. Come on, off you come. Two hands is easy. Anyone can do it two hands. Um, come on, wiggle, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, oh fuck this. Haha, -ha, jump cut, that was awesome. Okay, so let's just flip the lid on this thing, and see what we've got inside. Right, so yeah, 28 centimeters tall, um, quite large, and uh, I'm very happy about that. So let's just get the steel case out first. Because uh, that's pretty cool. Nice and glossy and wonderful. Uh, the game's obviously inside because I've been playing it the last couple of days. And this is uh, just to show you what the... It's like actual metal. You could probably cut yourself on that. Keep it in your wallet as some sort of scorpion light weapon. No, don't do that kids. 3301 of 70,000. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is... Right, so I had to do a little bit of creative editing there because good old Skillsy, as soon as I opened up the uh, steel case, out came uh, a DLC code. So, um, yeah, apologies for that. So, yeah, this is the uh, the comic book that you get with it. Um, I, If I hadn't have read the back, I wouldn't have known it was in it um, because it's in a very sort of thin piece of uh, packaging which sort of goes along the back of the, the steel case. So, uh, I'm glad I read the back of that. Goro, playable character. Scorpion uh, gold skin, that's just a leaflet, and this is just some information to get uh, me to buy the uh, other DLC, which I probably won't. But uh, let's get on to the big thing, shall we? And see if we're going to have any one handed success with this. Or, you know what, I'm just going to jump cut. One sec. Alright, well that was tricky as well. So, now she's out of its packaging. Um, I was expecting this to be sort of sellotaped on the sides because that's just loose like that. But hey, we won't complain. It's really good quality. Um, it probably won't be able to pick it up, but it's very textural. Um, it's got a, you know, it's a pretty solid base. And, um, I mean, the detail's amazing. So what I'll do is I'll take it out and we can see it still. Let's take a look. And it's standing up. 28 centimeters, but it looks amazing. Easily one of the more detailed ones that I've got um, as part of these games. Really nice paintwork. Like I said, it's quite heavy as well, which uh, 
you know, in my mind, implies a bit of quality as well. So nice to see that uh, money well spent. So when this man cave that surrounds me actually gets finished, this will take pride of place on the side somewhere, along with my Titanfall, Batman, all the other stuff that I've uh, that I've got recently. So yeah, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I suppose stay tuned to the next unboxing, which most likely will be something Batman based. I've pre-ordered the uh, the Batman um, Arkham Knight um, Batmobile edition, so uh, hopefully that'll be the next one. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like if you want to see more of these, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.